Hi everyone, Connor Peterson here with Second Brain Trading. Let me ask you a question. Do you use technical trading indicators? If you do, ask yourself, where do they fall short? How could they be better? And how could they be easier to use and understand? Now I would like to discuss our technical indicators and the features that they are jam packed with. Keep in mind that we are one of the only day trading businesses that have been in business for over 10 years. So you can rest assured that our indicators and trading system have withstood the test of time. Our technical indicators are heads up display indicators, which means they print right on the chart on the current bar of your trading chart in real time. No more hindsight repainting indicators that tell you after the fact. I mean, what's the point in that? These print as soon as the condition exists, which gives you the most time to prepare for what's coming next, which could be a great trade setup. Our technical indicators cover everything a trader needs to place informed trades and removes the information that you don't need for making trade decisions. Much less clutter for more efficient use of your trading charts and more clear yes or no trading decisions. Let's start with the speed tick indicator. The speed tick indicator identifies when orders are being processed through the exchanges faster than is likely retail traders could be placing and having orders accepted and processed. This tells us that it is very likely that the current bar has been or is being manipulated electronically by HFTs, otherwise known as high frequency traders, or other electronic means in order to create a reaction from retail traders like us. Knowing when this happens can keep a trader out of the market during this time or provide tremendous trading opportunities if the trader knows how to use this information to their advantage. As you can see in this video, we have a white speed tick appear, which is the first threshold of our speed tick. So that tells us that orders are coming in faster than is likely by retail traders, causing a typical pullback after a manipulation. And the sophisticated algorithms then set up a series to do it again. Once again, the prices inside this bar are being manipulated, causing yet another pullback. Next, we have our overbought and oversold indicator, also known as OBOS. OBOS specifically looks for and indicates an overbought or oversold condition. OBOS is looking for weakness in an uptrend and strength in a downtrend. The formula for this indicator compares the most recent closing price to a previous closing price from any time frame. We can tell when price becomes overbought or oversold simply by coloring the outline and the wick of the most current bar, meaning it is no longer necessary to have an oscillator on your chart to identify overbought or oversold conditions. So as you can see here, the magenta outline indicates a weakness in price, which is an overbought condition, and typically leads to a price pullback or a reversal. Next, we have our McDiver and Flash Divergence Indicators. This tells us when price and momentum have diverged, which is moving away from each other. It's most common for price and momentum to move together. When they get out of sync, price will almost always try to catch up with momentum. So as you can see on this chart, every lightning bolt is our flash indicator. And that's telling us that price and momentum have diverged. Now, as you can see, we are starting to get a pullback once that flash has appeared. Now the black or bluish looking diamond, that is our McDiver indicator. Once again, once it prints, we know that price and momentum have diverged causing a pretty significant pullback. The McDiver and the Flash only show divergence on one oscillator, but the Super Divergence Indicator has five more momentum oscillators included, which gives the user seven different oscillators to watch at one time to determine if price and momentum have diverged. Knowing this gives a trader a tremendous advantage since price will almost always follow momentum. So as you can see on the chart, the indicator prints with a number followed by the letter D for divergence. And underneath the chart, we have a little table here. Now we can see which oscillators price is diverging from based off which of these oscillators are highlighted when the bar prints. And as you can see, when we have the super divergence indicator, we are getting a pullback. Now for our most popular indicator, the Rockstar indicator. The Rockstar is a combination of our speed tick, obos, and super D indicators. This indicator is a key indicator to determine when price will stop moving in the direction it's going and pull back or reverse. This indicator can be used to enter pullback trades or even scale out of trend trades. Prints in multiple colors to let you know if it's printing inside a channel or during a breakout. So looking at the chart here, you'll see a confluence of conditions as measured by Obos, Speed Tick, and Super D exist with that Rockstar printing. Once that Rockstar is printed, we see that price is pulling back, 
giving you an amazing opportunity to place a pullback trade or scale out of a trend trade that you are currently in. Now we like to have support or resistance behind our trades. So we have the first touch indicator. The first touch support and resistance technical indicator is lines of major support and resistance based on traders choice of pivot formula and is calculated on intraday data or daily data. These levels become very strong over time. The longer it's been since price approached these support levels, the stronger the levels are likely to be. So we added relative strength of support or resistance measurement for each line, which shows you how many minutes it's been since it's been touched. So you can easily anticipate how price is likely to react to the line. So you can see on this chart, the major resistance line has a relative strength of 69. The higher the relative strength, the more likely price will react to the support or resistance. Now, if prices hit this line and you're wondering, wait, how strong was that line? I didn't see it before price hit that line. The number will move to the right so you can see how strong that level is even if price has already hit it and reset that number. Our MoMeter indicator is essential for our trade setups and many styles of trading. The MoMeter displays the strength of momentum of price over the user definable look back period. The MoMeter technical indicator colors the bars to easily see an increased momentum relative to the previous bars. So as you can see here, the momentum is picking up and the bars turned black. Now as we're getting even more momentum, it's turning to a gray color. As momentum builds, the bars change colors signaling imminent exhaustion. Now these technical indicators are just the tip of the iceberg. With our technical day trading indicators, you can take the same trade setups we have been trading in our trade room for over 10 years. Trades like the Rockstar trade, the speed tick setup, the first touch, and many more. But that isn't all the magic we have in our trade room. We have even more high performance technical indicators that allow you to take multiple variations of our low stress, high probability trade setups. Now, if you want more detailed information, you can find that in the link in the description below. And feel free to email us with any questions you have at support at the intentional trader.com or support at secondbraintrading.com. Now I'll catch you in the next video as I tell you about our award-winning trade room. Happy trading.